This can open or doesn't even make sense. I have no idea how to use it. Uh, it doesn't come with the instructions. It's very, very old. So let's figure it out. Hopefully I'm not making a big mistake how I'm using it. So probably have to go somehow this way. So I'm going to hold it. So we're going to hold it. Poke it too. Oh wow, okay. Let me show it to you from far away. This is like a leverage piece and you can uh, just go forward. Wow, it's kind of nice. You can uh, have to push it forward and cut it. Very nice, I like it. You see? I think I'm going to open one more can. Do I cut it all the way around? Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. He cut it to the edge, but it is a sharp edge. What is this? Instant mashed potato. Canned. Okay, let's try it again with the canned bread over here. Just hold it like that. Pop it too. Do you hear that air come out? And I'm gonna give you a little bit different view right here. You see? Super easy. So it's kind of want to move forward. You see how you readjust by pulling it forward, cutting it very, very good. Now let's zoom in on it. This is definitely the weirdest can opener I ever seen. You see how well it cuts? I shouldn't have popped it out. I just wanted to show it to you. Such a simple, but Unique can opener over here. I can't believe it. Just don't forget to kind of pull it forward and don't cut it all the way through. Boom. Wow. Very nice. And we got it here. Can bird. This is awesome can opener for sure. Love it. Thumbs up for me. I never seen anything like that. This is the weirdest can opener ever and I think I will have trouble figuring it out how to use it. Uh, hopefully I'm not making full of myself too bad but there is no videos of it how to use it. So let's try it out. So I guess the blade is over here. This is dull edge so I would assume we kind of have to open it this way. Um, so let's do it carefully. Oops. That's it. Wow, this is so weird. It obviously works, but I'm kind of afraid this is going to slip out. And because I'm kind of pulling it forward, I don't want to like cut my hand over here. So this is stayed up dangerous in a way. But yeah, Ugh. I think it's stuck. I'm done because I don't want to sleep and cut myself on this can either. So I don't know if I want to use this can opener ever again. But nevertheless, this has got to be the weirdest can opener ever. There you go. If you kind of... Ooh, you see what I'm saying? I slipped and I hit the can. But what if I got it on this edge or this edge? Ah, oh, this is scary. Unless I'm not using it correctly. There you go. Put it all the way deep, slowly. It works for sure, but definitely not the easiest or my favorite. There you go. At the end over there, I got pretty good, but yeah, I'll stay away from this can opener for sure. Still, my favorite can opener is this one. I know there is a little screw that a lot of people have recommended me to replace the screw with the hand tighten screw and that's a really good idea actually but yeah if you need to pop a whole bunch of similar cans that's not even necessary but I do like the idea of putting in hand tight screw just get it tight with your hand so sharp so big love it 
another one, get it to the middle, all the way through. Ah, adjust it, not a big deal, even though it's not tight, you can still cut it. Not so bad. I like it when it's tight though, and there is a rice. Boom. So yeah, maybe hand tightening is cool over here, and this my favorite can opener because it's so thick, so durable. The blade right here is very big, very easy to sharpen it. Looks like it needs sharpening now, and it's awesome. Got a couple more weird can openers. Let's see what these ones do. So looks like you poke it to the middle like this. Same thing, poke it all the way to the middle, open it all the way out. Looks like it will not work with bigger jars than this. And then you hold it with your finger like that and slide too. Wow, that is awesome. And we have right here canned salt. This is some survival food. That was actually very fast. Let's try it again. Poke it too. Put it all the way down. Then adjust it. Hold it with your finger. Push it. I like this can. Pretty unique. Oh wow, look at this one. This one's are cookies. I kind of want to taste test this. Mmm. Tastes pretty good. Canned crackers. And one more, this one actually for the bigger jars, I think. I kind of like it, how simple it is. And you can still use a regular can opener right here. I'm not really sure what this is. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can use it like that, maybe. Oh yeah, like that. But it's so slow. Can openers like that are so slow. It's nice, but my hand is kind of tired holding it. You gotta go a little bit at a time. It's nice. But I just think it's not perfect. Let's see what we got in this can. Yeah. I think this is powder butter. Pretty interesting. So way better to use one of these ones. Just set it up like that. Book it too. And then I like how easy it is to adjust and it doesn't slide forward that easily. So this one is a little bit better because you can adjust it way higher with the really, really big cans. I like it. <clears throat> Poke it all the way through and then just all the way around. Wow. This is seeds, semachki. Wow, that's awesome. There you go, Gopnik survival food right here. But yeah, this is the best can opener right here with that kind of style, one motion. Look at this very sharp edge. Look at the difference. One motion cut. Look how many times I had to go in and out and it's like tiring on your hands. Got it right here a few more pretty vintage but strange can openers. I don't even know how to use these ones. We'll try them out and two more like that. I would assume we gotta put it in like this. I, I guess we gotta put it in like that and kind of just bend it. Which end is sharp? Kind of both ends. So, there you go this way. Oh wow, okay. So it's for the left-handed and the right-handed, I guess. Pretty unique. Let me stand over here so you guys can see. It is very sharp for its age. I didn't sharpen it up or nothing. I hope I'm actually using it the correct way. I'm just guessing because I tried to look up if anybody ever showed you how to use it or showed us how to use it online and I didn't see anything. I'll tell you what, that's not the easiest way to do it. Okay, that's pretty interesting can opener. Let's see if this one does a little bit better. Similar one right here. 
very easy to push it too. I hope it's this the way to do it. Ouch! Slipped it. I think this is the way to actually do it. Yep. This one a little bit easier. Maybe sharper or something. But I like this one. Wow. I feel like it has a little bit thicker edge over here versus this one. So it slides in and out. Very, very nice. Wow. Okay. I like this one a lot more. In that kind of style. For sure. We we'll just can opener I ever seen. It's also get something so not perfect. There's a bunch of survival food over here. I bought a long time ago, put it to the test, but then changed my mind. So for all that survival food on the fallout, you will have to have some kind of can opener. So let's see which ones are the best. Now this style. I have no idea how to use this one. I see the blade is on top over here. So I would assume I got go up, in and out. Okay, all the way in. Oh no, man, that is not easy. Let's see if this one a little bit better. Oh, I guess you kind of hold it sideways like this. Okay, makes sense. That's pretty cool. Have pretty good leverage. Interesting. Kind of dangerous, afraid to slip out and hit my other hand. So I don't know if I want to use this one ever. Let's see if this one will work just as good. Nope. This one is not as sharp maybe. So some of them are just old. There you go, doesn't cut all the way through. Got that here, canned corn that is, haven't been cooked yet. Out of these four, I think this is, was the easiest, but let me know in comments below, what do you think about this weird can openers from many, many years ago?